Assembly after injection molding. Orange Plastics Academy. After a product is ejected from the injection molding machine, it oftentimes still has some steps to go through before it can be rightfully called a finished product. Because many products are made from multiple parts, these components have to be put together. Simple single component products such as bottle caps, lids, and plastic casings are finished immediately when the plastic is solidified. No assembly is required. However, many other products do require assembly. This can refer to multiple components that have to be put together, such as a stick and a grip that together make a toothbrush. On the other hand, many products require subtle add-ons that can't be added in the injection molding machine itself, such as screws, inserts, metal parts, strips, and labels. There are many ways that lead to a finished product. Each one has equipment, cost, and labor to consider. Let's find out. Manual assembly. The most common method of assembly is manual assembly. This can be done in an assembly line located immediately after the injection molding is finished, or alternatively at a separate assembly plant. The latter should be favored in case the product will be combined with multiple non-plastic components that require highly specific manufacturing techniques. For instance, let's say you manufacture a flashlight casing. In order for it to become a full-fledged functioning flashlight, the casing needs to be assembled with the right interior technologies for lighting, batteries, and internal wiring. This may require additional tools and production methods, such as welding and screwing. Your injection molding partner will help you determine the most cost-effective assembly steps for all parts to form a product with the desired function and aesthetic. When designing a product, try to think ahead of assembly. Designing for assembly helps you cut down costs and production time tremendously. Smart designers are able to create designs where components are held by two halves of the assembly without the need for an extra attachment. This makes for quick and smooth assembly later on. Clean Rooms When it comes to production contamination, assembly is potentially the most risky step of the entire production process. As the parts sometimes pass through many hands and areas, each assembly step increases the risk for contamination. Nowadays, many injection molding companies offer clean room assembly. Here, rigorous precautions are taken to preserve a conditioned working environment. In particular, medical products such as syringes and medical equipment are assembled in clean rooms. In mold assembly, an innovative alternative to conventional manual assembly is called in mold assembly. Here, multiple components are combined within the mold during the injection molding process itself. Aside from the obvious speed benefit, in-mold assembly usually results in end products with more consistent quality as it ensures correct alignment and takes away many of the warpage or shrinkage issues that can occur during secondary operations. On the downside, in-mold assembly usually requires relatively high production volumes as mold investments can cost 30 to 70% more than standard molds. Orange Plastics Academy is brought to you by Orange Plastics, your partner in injection molding. Want to learn more about plastic and injection molding? Subscribe to this channel or visit www.orangeplastics.com.